Well, Colin Hall, welcome back to Working Football Club. Thank you very much. Excited to be here. Good. Was it an easy decision? Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, because there's been a lot of uh, obviously stuff going on with the COVID-19 and all that. But, you know, to be back here, it's local to me. I obviously, I was here for, I think, six months before and it was, you know, I had a great time. It's a good club. And then obviously the, the gaffer, I met with him uh, and he was just told me his intentions and it was like he, want, he wants to win every game and he seems like, you know, if he doesn't win there's something wrong and, you know, that sort of mentality is what I want to be a part of. Yeah, that sounds very much like him. And uh, you've, uh, fin uh, you've sort of finished your time touring the north of England now then, <laughs> and back in the south. Yeah, I spent nearly five years sort of up north. So when I was at Sheffield United there for a year and a half, six months of that was spent on loan here. Uh, and then been at Bolton for the last three years, uh, on loan at Accrington as well. So I've sort yeah. of been around the north quite a lot. I liked it up there, but you know, nothing like being sort of back in your hometown. Yeah, for sure. Um, you, did, you did have a fair bit of success on your northern travels, didn't you? Um, I mean, you signed for Bolton and that you had a fantastic season there uh, for the under-23s. Yeah, to be, that was my, I think, best season I've had as a player. Uh, it was my first proper sort of experience of under-23s because I'd never really sort of made it at Sheffield. There was always players that were getting picked over me. Uh, I went to Bolton and uh, I was starting striker straight away. I got on really well with the manager, David Lee, the under-23 manager. And he just believed in me. Played every game. I think I got 22 goals. Uh, you did. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> 22 goals, which is uh, it's the, the a league record since it's been right. sort of done, which was, you know, really good for me. And that's how I got. I signed another two year there, and then unfortunately I didn't quite sort of make the kick on, make the first team. A few appearances here and there, but you know, mm -hmm. never really a run of games. So. And. Uh, it wasn't just 22 goals for the under 23s you won a gong that year as well didn't you yeah we did we did won the uh no you personally won a gong yeah you were the Bolton Wanderers young oh, player of the year oh yeah I actually forgot about that yeah oh, goodness <laughs> yeah because I was not I was 19 20 at the time yeah and I was sort of there wasn't a lot of youngsters in and around the first team um and I was one of the only ones so yeah that was a good good award to win First one, first one I've really won. You know, obviously when I was at Sheffield, never really got anywhere near it, so yeah. that was nice. Is going back to Sheffield? Is there anyone who's been involved in their team this last season that you played with while you were there? Uh, not really. If no. I'm honest with you, there's a few lads have gone on and done really well at Sheffield. Uh, so like David Brooks, Aaron Ramsdale, both playing for yeah. Bournemouth. Uh, Don Calvert Lewin playing at Everton now. Yeah. You know, they're all. They're all players I played with there. Right. They, they were always sort of, you knew they were going to go on and yeah. do well. You know, they were the sort of players that were, you know, the best sure. in the academy. Um, so I think they got sold on for a bit of money. But there's not a lot of players that have broke into the, the first team there. A lot of them have sort of come up from when they were in League One. A lot of the senior players and they've just kind of kept them on. Like the likes of like John Fleck and, you know, he stayed, he played pretty much yeah. every game. That he was fit for last year. So and who was the manager of the first team when you were there? Uh, Chris Wilder was. Oh, it was him. Yeah, so he. he came he's in. managed in this league. You, you, As it would, you're not aware of that. No, which team was that for? Oxford United. Was that in National League? Was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I knew he managed Oxford. I didn't know it was. Yeah. In National, yeah, yeah he's. Um, he did well. I think he started off quite poor. If I can remember, we were. They lost the first four games in League One, and then they just went on an unbelievable run and just ended up winning the league. I think they finished just above Bolton that year as well, and then I went and joined Bolton the year right. after, which is which is quite fun. But. Yeah, I'm I'm fairly sure I'm right about this. I, I think he he wasn't the manager who took them back into the league because he got poached by Northampton Town. Yeah, he went to Northampton. Yeah, and uh, it was, it's been all upwards since then for him. Yeah, one of the reasons I remember that is because that's where he got uh, Dom Calvert Lewin. He right. got him on loan to play in. I think they were in League Two at the time. Yeah, and I think he got him promoted with them. So that's. That's sort of how I knew he was there. Um, right. And yeah, he's obviously done an unbelievable job at, at Sheffield now. And what about your time at Accrington? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was um, it was good because it was my first proper taste of league football. I didn't play a lot of games. Well, I didn't start a lot of games. Uh, a lot of the time I was coming on with sort of 10, 15 minutes to go. Um, we had a couple of good centre forwards at the time, so it was hard to get you know, game time. Uh, I played in the cup games. 
did okay, got two goals in the Checker trade. Um, I actually scored my first league goal against Sunderland in the league and then yeah. uh, 10 minutes to go, the game got abandoned. So, oh, no, it got, so it doesn't scra- count. Yeah, so it got scrapped off. So oh. that was unfortunate. But um, yeah, Who I did really. Huh? Who did you score against? Sunderland. They cut it up here at home. So yeah, no, nah, that was. Was uh, that at that home or, or at Sunderland? I was at Accrington, but right. I think to, to be fair, I thought I think Sunderland bought more fans than than Accrington, <laughs> Accrington had, yeah. if I'm honest. Yeah. So, yeah, that was I, I enjoyed it. That is a good club. Great. And then um, most recently, you've uh, spent quite a few months, I think, at Chorley. Yeah. In this league, of course. Um, was that tough being at the bottom? And it looked like relegation was pretty much a certainty for quite a while, didn't it? Yeah. To be honest, it was difficult because. I went there, I think we were sort of eight to ten points adrift. Um, I enjoyed it a lot because I this season, what well, last season, I've had, I had a bad injury. I tore, I'd done a load of stuff to my leg. I tore my syndesmosis, I dislocated my leg. I had injuries, um, slight tears on my MCL, like all in the same injury. So it was difficult. And then came first game back, I played in the FA Cup, uh, I tore my hamstring. Mm. So it was difficult. So I needed to just get out and play, play some games and. You know, in January they they said they wanted to bring, take me on. Uh, I spoke to the manager. He was he was a good guy. Said I'd play all the time. Went. I did quite well. Scored uh, three goals in six games. Yeah. Um, felt like I could have gone on and got more if the season hadn't have been cancelled. But um, no, I was really really happy with how it went there. And yeah. I feel like what I did there might have you know earned me a move here. So. In your sort of heart of hearts, do you think that? the National League is, is your sort of level or do you still aspire to go back higher up? Uh, I think if you play football and you don't want to get to as high as you can yeah. I think then there's something wrong with you sure. because I feel like if you want to stay in the same league your whole life I just feel like there's no ambition like for me I want to get as high as I can and I feel I feel like coming back here is the perfect opportunity for me to play I feel like at this level I can do well I can score goals and I just hope that you know, it will do me good for the future. So how did Dow sell you the club? Uh, so he just gave me a call sort of one day, just said, you know, um, we're interested in bringing you along, you know, would you like to meet, sort of speak about sort of what's, like, what's going to happen at the club and that? And I said, yeah, of course. So uh, met up with him, um, was with him for about two hours, just had a chat and, you know, he told me all his ambitions and stuff about sort of what he wants to do with the club. Um, and it just he just sold it to me sort of there and then and I said straight away you know like I'd be interested in coming 100 percent and then uh, I got a call uh, a few days after just said like all right yeah like, we've got this for you and then yeah I just said yeah, let's do it so yeah excited you sound like the perfect candidate for the way Dows likes to negotiate signings <laughs> yeah well no was, fuss Get yeah it. literally that's exactly how it was um, one conversation on the phone yeah. That was it. Said, yeah, let's, let's do it. How, how did he um, come to think of you? Do you know? Did he tell you how you came um, to his notice? I think someone I know, uh, he knows, well, obviously everyone knows everyone in football, but um, he must have had a conversation with someone that knows me and then become aware that I was kind of available right. and thought, yeah, I'd be interested in getting him along. So, And has he talked to you about exactly where and how he wants you to play? Uh, he's, well, he keeps saying to me he doesn't want to see my face because he wants me to be <laughs> yeah. facing facing the goal the yeah. whole time. So it yeah. um, gives me a good idea that you know he, he wants me in the box scoring goals, which is which is what I do best to be honest with you. Because I, you know, it, a lot of players you know come come to feet, get the ball, play it off, and all that. I can do that if needs be, but for me, it, I get judged on scoring goals. So you know, I just want to be in the box, getting on the end of crosses, getting rebounds, and all that. So um, the fact that Matt Jarvis is going to be playing for us wouldn't have exactly put you off, so Yeah, it? that was that was one of the selling points for him. To <laughs> yeah. be fair, that's that's what yeah. he said to me. Um, the gaffer he was like, yeah, obviously we've got Jarvis signing on for another year. Um, he was obviously one of the best crossers in in this league currently. Definitely one of the best crossers in this league currently. So obviously with his experience and stuff, it was yeah. you know I'd feel like it'd be a good chance for me to. You know, get some goals and stuff. If I just anticipate where he's going to put it. And sure, stuff. sure. 
Well, you're probably aware he, he came on from the bench for his first appearance and scored in four minutes. <laughs> no, I and didn't know that. And then he got an actually. assist in his only other appearance as well. So oh, there you go. He's got quite a record to keep up. Yeah, it's all right, like, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, so, does he see you? Do you think as a as a centre forward or playing off someone? Uh, I, well, myself, I'd like to see myself as more of a like out and out centre forward. Yeah whether that's playing with someone even if I have to sort of drop in and do play off someone I can do that as well you know um, I just I just want to want to play I want to score goals and that's sure. you know wherever the gaffer puts me I'll try and do that well when he first mentioned your name to me he said that uh, when you were here before you were a teenager and you've grown up now and yeah. uh, he's expecting a lot from you is that fair yeah it's fair I played my first game when I was 18 uh, yeah. Not I played a lot of men's football, but like lower leagues, um, sort of Evo stick. Uh, came here, uh, started a few. Only started a couple games because um, I was still young, still quite inexperienced. Uh, I was learning a lot off the lads that were here. Yeah. Um, obviously, you got Max Kretschmer and Kane Fernand, who are both still here. They were here yeah. at the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was good to be here and sort of get a proper taste of what you know good men's football was like. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed it. So. Good. Well, it's great to see you back again. And um, just finally, the very last question: What was it Douse told you to say when he, when he said uh, <laughs> when he is he Douse said to you when he asks you why Woking, you are supposed to say. So he says why why pick Woking, and I'd say oh um, the gaffer just sold it to me. Said you know the only reason I came was because he's the manager. And That's he's, it. <laughs> and he's the reason why I signed. So yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Brilliant. Thanks very much for your time this afternoon. We look forward to loads and loads of goals this season. Okay. I hope so. Thank you.